Hello guys, welcome to the next section, Building Blocks. This section serves as a refresher on some fundamental concepts. This section starts with a look at the Big O notation. Space-time trade-offs is another important aspect of algorithm design. Then we'll look at referential transparency. Then we'll look at vectors and list data structures and note the trade-offs. We'll conclude by looking at the complexities of some functional idioms. Now we move on to the first video of this section that deals with the big O notation. The big notation is used to describe how fast an algorithm will run. In this video, we'll describe the growth of the algorithm's running time versus the size of input data in Scala. We'll begin with a simple example depicting a reversing linked list in Scala command prompt. For that, this is the line of code. Then we get this output. Next, we enter this code where we enter the list. When we press enter, we get this output, where the numbers are reversed. From this code, you can note that the clause matches when the list is non-empty. When it matches, we reduce the list by one element and recursively call the method. Also from this code, it's easy to see that this clause matches six times. As a result, the list method, increment, also gets invoked four times. This increment method takes time and is directly proportional to the length of the list on the left-hand side. Here is a plot of the number of iterations against time. To reverse a list of nine numbers, we iterate over the elements 45 times. It's the sum of all numbers from one to nine. For a list with 20 elements, the number of iterations is 210. Here's a table showing some more example values. The number of iterations are proportional to n squared divided by two. It gives us an idea of how the algorithm runtime grows for a given number of elements. The moment we go from 100 to 1000 elements, the algorithm needs to do 500 times more work. Another example of a quadratic runtime algorithm is a selection sorting. It keeps finding the minimum element and increases the sorted sublist. The algorithm keeps scanning the list for the next minimum element and hence always has O n2 complexity. This is because it does O n2 comparisons. For more information, visit this link. Binary search is a very popular search algorithm with a complexity of O log n. This figure shows the growth table for O log n. When the number of input elements jumps from 256 to 1,048,576, the growth jumps from 8 to 20. Binary search is a blazing fast algorithm, as the runtime grows marginally when the number of input elements jump from a couple of hundreds to 100,000. You can refer to this link to know more about O notation. You can also visit this link. This has a graphical representation of the various growth functions. This brings us to the end of this wonderful video. Here we learned about big O notation. 